Away, welcome to playing the bounce with me, Dale and Oliver. Very, 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 very excited. As you can see, I'm using all of my words and all of my hand movements because we're catching up with our DHL Stormers. Wait, our Vodacom United Rugby Championship winning DHL Stormers. One of my favorites, one of your favorites, one of the coolest in the business. It's got such a lekker hairstyle, much better than mine. Start the clapping, start the screaming. Please give it up for Skara and Dobeni. Pew, 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 pew. Skara. Skara. You're still doing this wrong, Dylan. Hey? You're still doing this wrong. Is it wrong? Yeah. I think, I think. Let's go chat inside. Yeah, right my back is so. Because <laughs> you look what you, what you look like. No, you, I said, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did that. Come here. Scar and Tabini, by mm -hmm. far one of the nicest human beings. Uh -uh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you look at me. Like, Dylan, this is supposed to be a professional conversation. <laughs> You are always smiling. Is this since forever? Mm, no, I don't know. I just, I just wish my teeth were a bit whiter. You're doing but a yeah. great job. <laughs> Listen, I had braces when I was a kid and my teeth are still skewed. I got an overbite, so <laughs> you're doing great. See, Aponga and Tobeni, uh, where did the nickname come from? Do you remember who gave it to you? Jesse, no, no. But I remember even from junior school, always being Skara. Yeah. And I'd be lying to you if I told you now where it comes yeah. from. Yeah, we need to find that totally. teacher or that person. Like, yeah. they somewhere in your hometown the in, going, the King no one's paid me for this nickname. <laughs> I gave him his claim to fame. But I remember fondly when you, when you started popping onto our TV screens mm. because social media hadn't done its thing this yet. Big, yeah, that big, yeah. And your smile stole the heart of the nation. And obviously yeah. the iconic, and I say this with love, the iconic gray, yeah. it was initially not that. Just a little bit. Just like a little island, bit, yeah. eh? Yeah. As it, as it's part of your order and your look now? Yeah, I've just, it worried me for a bit. You know, I used to get teased when I was at school and I used to cry and all of that. Yeah? But now I've just, I remember... At what age did it, did, it, did it pop up? I had it nine, nine years old, the first little bits came out, yeah. Okay, so it I've looks so it. cool though. Yeah, but now it's just, yeah, it's all over now. You but have, I, I love it now, I would you never have, die. Hey. <laughs> like I've never experienced, have you ever had to put sunblock on your whole head? <laughs> <laughs> You've never experienced no. it. <laughs> never, never. Bro, we're sitting at, at Western Province Rugby's High Performance Center in the northern suburbs in Balwell, for those who don't know, in Cape Town. Uh. Do you remember the first time you walked in here and, and, and what that moment was like? I remember it was in 2010, late in the year, after Curry Cup. We had come here for testing, but that day I remember walking in here and seeing Skalk, Andres, you know, Tian and a few others. Stalwarts of yeah. province in SA Rugby. And like, when I go home, I had their photos on my wall. And then when I come here... <laughs> They're there? Yeah. <laughs> so do do you like, remember who the first person was, was you, you, you said hi to? I think it was Andres. I think it was Andres was the first one. He like, walked wow, into his chest. Okay. No, probably his, his, his yeah, stomach. Yeah, stomach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's magic, man. And yeah. how, how old were you then? I was 19. Jeez. Yeah, I was 19, yeah. So 19, fast forward. Like 11, 12 years yeah, later, you, yeah. you're part of the Cape Town family, THL Stormers family, mm. Western Province Rugby family. Could you have predicted how magical the journey is going to be? No, not at all. I think, I think for me, like, I know you probably heard it from other people, but... I want to hear it from you. <laughs> I played rugby because I loved it and I enjoyed it and never thinking something would... Always yeah. hoping or not even praying, like just like jolling, you know? Yeah and making memories and having fun. And then only later it started clicking like, shucks, okay, things are happening now and I'm training with a senior team or I'm gonna play the blues this weekend and you know. Yeah. Yeah, I still remember in the walking, cause we were playing the blues that weekend and Jacques Nina was, came up to me. I was getting in the car and he said to me, Skara, if you played against Kevin Mialamo this weekend, would you F him up? Yeah. Or would you ask him for an autograph? Nice. So what was, was your like, answer? I was like, uh, 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 and he walked away. And I got in the car and then it sort of clicked that, shucks, I might be playing on the weekend. Getting the call up. Was so that the first Super Rugby call up? The, we used to have the Neo African Neo series back then. Before Super Rugby, we played like warm up games against Highlanders, Brumbies. Yes. Remember those? Yeah. yeah. So I'd play like a little bit of that, but not like a proper yeah. super rugby, like All Blacks coming over here and all of that. So that was pretty special, yeah. How fast was that game Yo. in comparison to what you were used to? How fast yeah, was it? Yeah, that was crazy, yeah. I think I remember my first touch was a line out and we were in their half and Andres came up to me when I ran on and he told me, okay, it's a line out and this is what's gonna happen. And he was standing at the back of the line out. So my first line out, I had to throw at the back 
to him, threw the ball like this much over him, you know, the tallest yeah. guy in rugby, this much over him and it bounced like twice and Peter Grant caught it and he scored under the poles and it looked like... <laughs> <laughs> you were working on this play in practice. Genius. First touch. Try Peter Grant, so that was yeah, good, good memory. Yeah, the guys came through. Well done. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've been working <laughs> on, on the, the plan. <laughs> I've been Part working on, the on it. Yeah. So you say, um, Nina, but now now Springbok coach mentions. Um, Listen, Skara, what are you running up against, uh, Mialamo? Yeah. Who's the most intimidating person you've been opposite in the scrum, or just running at you and you're going, listen, I'm either going to knock you out, or you're going to knock me out, but someone's going. I'm sure you remember he played for the Sharks, Jean Dessel. Yeah. Yeah, he was... How can you forget the same? Yeah, he was pretty pretty uh, mean. I remember, I can't remember, I think it was Sia next to me. He had come around the, the, the rack and he was obviously going to get the ball. I said, come, John, come, John. And I mean, I was like 20 or 21 then. And I don't know what happened. He like knocked the ball. He, I didn't end up having to tackle him. Yeah. But then Sia was like, don't do that ever again. <laughs> This is not the time yeah. and place <laughs> to, to, to do it. To, yeah. <laughs> Listen, the, the, the new home of DHL uh, Stormers is DHL Stadium, mm -hmm. right? But you have some fond memories at, at Newlands. What, what's the reward like running out to a full stadium now and mm -hmm. then? And you're going, this is the faithful. Yeah, yeah. The, this is what it's all about. I think exactly what you said, the faithful, you know, like I've played in games, knockoff, knockout games at a curry cup game and it's pissing it's raining yeah. and the faithful are there you know some yeah. not in there in track suits and all of that yeah yeah i mean before one of the knockout games in the urc there was this truck tractor with farm workers in the back yeah and it was raining pissing i think they were on the n7 but they were far out in a car it'd be like an hour and a half two hours coming and through. these guys were on a tractor coming with their signs with their Stormers tops. I love it. And I was like, yo, like when you see photos of that and you're like, geez, this is not like a Mickey Mouse. It no. means a lot to a lot of people. Like it means a lot to yourself, but you think you're just going to draw sometimes, you know? Yeah. You lose track and then you, you see things like that and you're like, wow. Oh no, we love you guys. <laughs> yeah, we will. We fight with our TVs about you guys. <laughs> we fight with our neighbors, with strangers. <laughs> You don't understand when um, URC is happening and we're going to the final. Yeah. Anyone who wasn't loving DHL Storms, you're like, you don't have, your, your opinion doesn't matter here, bro. We won't really violently yeah, attack you, yeah, but you know yeah. what I mean. The magic of that, you, you, you mentioned URC, but what a great intro to the campaign. Mm. DHL Stormers just yeah. coming out and taking the world by surprise. And I say that because we didn't know what, what the territory is yeah. like. A lot of the... Yeah. Well, majority of the case, it's the first time you're playing in these mm. um, countries, in these cities and playing up against the teams. What was, what is the prep like that like and then just heading into those new environments? Yeah, I think we were, I won't say lost, but we didn't know what to expect yeah. as well. Um, a lot of the guys hadn't traveled, like we hadn't played in those weathers. We didn't know how, you know, how different things are that side. Um, didn't know the refs had a different <laughs> whistle. <laughs> I'll say it, I'll say it. <laughs> I said that, I said that. <laughs> But yeah, like uh, things were interpreted differently. Yeah. There were language, well, not language barriers, but yeah. you know, sometimes the ref would change, you know, to a different, not on purpose, but you know, things like that. And then you, like when we're in Connacht, it's like snowing the night before, and you know, you know, you're not used to yeah, call the South Africans, yeah. so your hands don't work, and you need to learn quickly yeah. how to, you know, how to get around. And and even coming back home, we didn't know because we had lost like 90% of our games overseas. Yeah. So coming back, we we're like, okay, now we're just playing for the jersey and for the crowd. Yeah. And then every game, there was just more belief. And every game, Dobbo would say, this is our most important game. Yeah. And then we'd win. And you'd look at the the the, the betting odds, it would be like 55 to one. Oh. And every weekend, it just started coming down yeah. to like 40, 30. And I think the belief grew, not with that specifically, but with everything that was happening around us. Yeah. The crowds got, could have more people in yeah. the stands. The then storming, saw what the was, storming yeah. on the final night. Man. Yeah, and, and our motto was get Cape Town smiling. Yeah. So when the more people that came, the more we were like, shucks, okay, boys, this is, yeah, this is not just any game anymore. I think as the, even if you speak to Dobo, he said we we're going to end probably, he would be, would have been happy with mid-table, just above yeah. mid-table. Yeah. Every weekend was like, 
Shucks, boys. It's just a great narrative of a movie. Mm. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. remember the Titans coming, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to shift the pace a bit. Mm -hmm. Just a bit serious because this has been serious bits of your career. Mm. You, as Before we, we went live, I was looking at your legs. I was like, yeah. is that the screw? <laughs> is this the operation? You've had yeah. so many injuries, but you keep coming back stronger and stronger on the road to, mm. to recovery, like mm. mentally. Just watch that shift, like, just to keep yourself positive and being your own cheerleader to make mm. sure that you get back on the field, play that 80 minutes and run out in the jersey. I think it's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight ops. <clears throat> and most most have been long term. So After rugby, before yeah. you reply, just yeah. you're going to start your own medical aid company <laughs> and go, guys, <laughs> I know exactly what, what you, you need. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying? Everyone, every single one's had its own challenges. Yeah. But I think I've had a, I've always had a good good group around me in terms of medical staff, friends. It's just I've always been that lucky, and I think I've always I've always been positive. Yeah, yeah. always. Yeah. Well, not not always. Not on a Monday morning. It's tough. Yeah, but yeah, I try and you know have a laugh every day, and uh, you know we're always trying yeah. banter and all of that. Um, yeah, I think that's been the most important for me because the growth with long term injury is so small. Mm. It's like one day you can lift your big toe, a week later you can lift your second one. Yeah. So you don't get reward quickly. Yeah. So you have to stay, find something else that's going to yeah. give you reward. Otherwise, you're just going to be ground, like dead every single day. Yeah. So you need to find like small victories. Oh, I can do, I couldn't do a cough raise last month. Today I can do five. Okay, so the, it's, yeah. it's getting there. So. Do you feel like your, your, your wisdom and, and patience has become better with, with age. I'm giving you the wisdom like, <laughs> like no, because there's youngsters in the camp. You, you've got wisdom. You've got change room experience, match day experience, like yeah. stuff that you wouldn't have had 10 years ago. Yeah. Because you've been exposed to so many mm, circumstances. Mm. Like when you in these spaces on or off the field, can you feel that growth? Yeah, definitely. I think on the field, there's some instances where I watch myself, where I watch something, like watch the game again. Oof, 10 years ago, I would have maybe buckled here. Yeah. We're playing like a knockout game or a very important game. We kick to the corner, you miss the line out, you know. 10 years ago, we have the same opportunity. Are we going for the corner? I'll be the first guy and say, no, guys. But now I just feel, okay, I know what I've done wrong, you know, yeah. done it a million times. Let's go for it, boys. You know, Crash that's the, the difference. Instinct is there. You're there. Yeah, yeah. You commit. Now you commit. Now that's yeah. good. It's like a four-way stop street. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go over. It's yeah. fine. There's no one there. Before you go into the field, before you go into the field, mm. what are you thinking? you about to go out. Stadium is full. DHL mm. stadium is there. Mm. Everyone's waiting for DHL Stormers to come out. It, it, it changed in, 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 in my career. I think the beginning was just like... I just want to get on, I'm ready, you know. And then there was a lull in the middle, like with all the confusion and injuries and all of that. And I think now it's changed to more like it means, not that it didn't mean, it meant a lot when I was But I told 20. you wisdom, bro. <laughs> Life experience, bro. Debit orders will do this to you. <laughs> the more debit orders you have, the more you have reflection. Yeah. <laughs> I think now when I get a little bit of emotion because, yeah. yeah, you just think like, you take it for granted for so long, and now, not that it's, not that it's coming to an end, but it, it, it's, it's coming to an end. <laughs> and you think to yourself, like... You're enjoying the moment. Yeah. yeah, and then you're like, geez, okay, like, I always wanted this, but you take a lot for granted, and then you don't appreciate yeah. a lot of it. But now you're like, geez, I always wanted it, and now I have it, and I'm here. I think that's the difference. That's how it's, like, changed over the years. Skaran to be me. Taylor. My man, appreciate you. Ah, in the scrum. Yeah. Uh -uh. Thanks for, thanks for the words, my guy. Good to see you, my brother. Like <laughs> but, but, the but, scrum. Yeah, yeah, Down. yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's pretty simple. Just like in the game of rugby, you too can get better at playing the bounce in life with the help of change science. So go to the change exchange and learn how to play the bounce. I win.